Hi, Gav. How are you, bud? Seth, how are you, mate? Thanks, buddy. Little Phoebe, come here, darling. Come on, come here. <laughs> Thought you could get away from me, didn't you, hey? You be cheeky there, you little monkey. Hey, what are you doing, you little cheeky? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dun, 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 dun. On save. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Say hi. Hello. Oh, off she goes. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, you little, you little muscle bunny. No, you want to get in the sun. Welcome, everyone. Kent, how are you, bud? Welcome to the stream, mate. Oh, yeah, good, good. That's good. Kent, how are you, mate? Welcome to the stream. Now, what have we got here? We've got Twitch there. Don't chew the crate. Don't chew the crate. Yeah, we'll do that there. How are you, Kent? Welcome, bud. Don't forget to click on the old like icon there. How are you, everyone? All right, so we're finally sorted. Are you okay, Missy? Is this a bit much for you? Hey. So what we're going to do, right, is we're going to actually finish this kayak. So give me a second. Right. Hello, dummy. What are you doing? You little cheeky. Right. Okay. So, let me just grab this here. This is the plan, fam. All right. This is the plan. Right. So, what we're going to do is this. Okay. We are going to set up a bimini that we're going to make ourselves. Right. So, what I've done is I went down to Bunnings and got the piping myself. Right. Right. Oh, don't do that. Great. All right. So I'm just going to sand a bit of this with this coarse paper. All right. And then what we're going to do is, Maury, how are you, bud? This is our sponsor kayak, mate. The one that the community helped me get. What are you doing? Hey? You don't like that noise, do you? So, old mate Chicken, how are you, bud? Welcome, mate. I don't know whether we've got any um, mods in here, Chicken, but we'll sort it out soon. All right, so, see this here? This is a 50 mil diameter hole, right, where the sunshade goes. This is going to be the anchor point for our bimini that I'm making, right? So this is exactly what it was meant to be like. 
Ryan got you sick. Oh, that's not good, mate. Hey. Hey, um, culpable or Sith, can you please give um, old mate chicken a shout out, please? Old mate chicken is uh, <laughs> drink through it this weekend. Old mate chicken is uh, is the uh, one of the uh, founding members of the Phoenix Gaming Tribe. We've got that tournament tomorrow, I think, or Sunday, but we'll sort that out. We'll have to them later. All right. So. So, let me just uh, get that in there. All right, so we've just sanded the bottom of this, which is good. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how to um, set this up like this. All right, great. They're about the right height. So it's all right, peeps, come down. So basically what's happening is with this um, bimini that we're making, or T-top as they're called in America, right, I'm going to make it out of PVC because aluminium is too expensive, right, and to get it custom made, it was off the charts. So this is not the actual height of the bimini. What we're going to do is we're going to make this here and get the width right because we want it to be the same width as the kayak. And then what we're going to do is flip it upside down, and then we're going to get the two metre lengths in there, right? And away we go. Okay, so this is going to be the actual height of the kayak. Sorry, the bimini, right? So I'm 1.8 metres tall, okay? What are you doing, Missy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sorted you out, didn't it? Hey? A little bit of panic there. Watch out. Come on. Be a good girl. Right. Wait, wait. Right, let's leave that there for a second. <laughs> I tell you what, what you're lacking in size, you make up in spunk, don't you? Hey, look at you. Cheeky. Right. So, let's get on with this, shall we? All right. So what we're going to do is, right, um, I'm going to have to put a support beam in here just to keep it stable, right? And then that way when we plonk it in, it's something that's fairly solid. Then what I'm going to have to do, um, I mean, I could do it like this, right, like that, but we wouldn't have anything in the middle holding it together, right? So what I'm going to do is... The kayak's 90 centimetres wide. Right. Oh. <laughs> Pandemonium, hey? What are you doing, Phoebes? What are you doing, mate? Hey, what are you doing, Phoebes? Right, let's bring that down there. Right, so... Uh, what do you do, Culp? Pugs, how are you, bud? The real Pugzilla. Can we have a shout out for the real Pugzilla too? So, okay, 90 centimetres, right? So, okay. 90 centimetres wide, which is here, right? Now, that 90 centimetres is here. Yep, that's a 90. Good. Let's just get this sorted. Thanks. So, I'm going to have to bring this back a little bit.
we're not pugs. That's why they have a manager and they have a team, but we have no input into it. Well, Psychic, there's not much I can do about it, but as Telstra are the provider, mate, not me. So... Okay. Right, there we are. So... That's going to be the front of the Bimini there, right? 90 wide. So, actually, that's pretty good. So, what I need to do now is, what do we got here? Let's set a meter as well. Thanks, Psyche. Now, that's really good. Okay, so that's sort of there. That's the other two meter length for the back here. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to run. A little T piece through here, right? So I'm going to put a T piece through here at the back of the um, kayak, right? So what will happen is we'll put the T piece here. So when we have the Bimini coming out to here, right, we're just going to run another link of PVC down to here, or I guess we could even tie it off. We have got the threads in here, so I can put a little eyelet in there, but I think. Um, for the sake of being able to, um, for the sake of being able to um, keep the structure rigid, we're going to have to have at least one at the back. And the good thing about that is two. Um, right, that's good. So let's bring this over here. Right, nicely, nicely. There we go. So that's our three pieces. Right. So these one meter pieces here. Right, so we're going to have two this way, right? We're going to have two coming out the back here like this, right? Like that. Okay. So let's just get this in here for now. What we'll do is we'll put it all together and then we'll glue it all up later. Right, we've got to get this straight. Right, so that's the front of the frame there. Right, that's going to come in to about here. So that's going to cover us wherever we are on the um, uh, on the uh, kayak, which is what we want. Whoops, sorry. So let me just get this sorted. Right. And then what we can do, okay, is... That's good. This is half the weight of the other one too, so... Yeah, Will, that's what usually happens, bud. And, I mean, I can't do anything, mate. The reason why the stream is the way it is, but what we'll do is let's do this, right? Let's do this. Let's try this. See if this makes... Um... Hey there, Dexcore. How are you, mate? Slash raid. Oh. oh. Starless TV. Hit enter. Right, good work. Right now. Right, let's go to the stream. Right now. Let's go to here. And remove. And remove. Let's leave save changes nicely. Right, that's much better. So, that's all good. And 
there we are. Let's see, has the quality of the stream improved or not? Probably not as we're dealing with Telstra. So this is what we need to do now. What we need to do now is get an internal measurement here. So what have we got there? We've got 67 centimetres, or 67 or 66. Let's have a look. Right, so that's, how can it be 67 centimetres between there and there? When that's 49, what have we got in here? So we've got 30, 37 centimetres, which means they're all six and a, no, they're 13s. Great, 37, awesome, six and a half. Right, so just excuse me for a second. I'm just going to go and get a handsaw and then I'll be straight back. What are you doing, darling? Come on. Come on, sweetie. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on. You misbehaving. You misbehaving. So you should do too. Oh. Hello, gorgeous. You got up on your own. All right. Now. Just going to hit refresh, right, and see if that improves it. Yeah, that's normally how it goes, Will, doesn't it? Right, is that better? Has that improved? Right, now, so we measured 37 centimetres. Let's bring that in here. Right, what, what's the matter with you? Right, so 37 centimetres here. Good work.
Right. So that's our first one. Right. Okay. So that's sorted. Let's just take all the swarf off there. <laughs> Okay, so 37 centimetres in there. That's our cross stability perfect. Now that's pretty solid already, okay? But it's the same old story. A triangle is always a stronger shape than a square, you know? So what do we have here? We have, all right, so we have exactly 60 centimetres. So we want to allow 15 centimetres. Now how's this going to work? How's this going to work? Right. 15 centimetres, and that's 30 mil. So 30 of the 15. Right, so that's going to have to be... Okay. It's going to have to be 15 millimetre... 15 from the middle, which is... There. Hang on, I need to figure this out. I'm not one short. Surely I'm not one short. Oh, there it is. Whew. Lucky for some. Right, let's bring this in here. Okay. So, Scrubbers, how are you, bud? Welcome to the stream, mate. Thanks for tuning in. We're just going to be working on our new sponsor kayak. And what I'm doing is I'm making a bimini so that we can take this offshore and I'm not hammered so much by the sun and by the wind, mate. I'm getting old now, you know. Getting a, bit, getting a bit soft in the old age, you know what I mean? Right. So, let me just sort this out. No, that's not the issue for here. Right, that's the issue. No, that's not the issue. That's the issue. Right, so I need to come out 15 from here right to there. Okay. Okay. Oh, thanks, Scrubbers. And look, mate, welcome to the Oz fan, but, um, you know, we're, um, we really like how the PGT community works, matey, right? We reckon you're a great group of people. That's why, you know, we form the collaboration, right? And, um, yeah, really, hey, Drinkwasser, how are you, bud? And, uh, yeah, just very, very happy to be associated with such a great group of people, mate, right? And as you can see, I'm a bit of an old codger. I like to do things myself, mate. It's the goat herder in me scrubber, so I like to save money. Right. So let's just get this. Oh. Excuse me for a second, fam. I just need to get a band out. I'll be back in a second, okay? Hello, gorgeous. You're sitting in the sun. Look at you. It lounge chair, babes. Come on, darling. We're just going to pick this up. Right. All right, we're all good. Let's just leave that there for a second. All right. Can we have a shout out for Scrubbers? Yeah, I am, mate. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't go that far, Trixie. No, no, not not an outrigger, mate. We've got an outrigger coming. This is a uh, T piece, you know. Right. So that's good. That's in there now. That's our T piece. Great. 
Now we just need another one. That's not exactly right, is it? Let me just have a look. I think I might have mucked it up a bit, people. That's not 15, that's 20. What am I doing? No, it was yeah, meant to be 15. Hang on. I've done that to there. I need to cut that back again. Let me just that's meant to be fifteen to there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Fifteen to the middle. Okay. So let's chuck that in there. Fifteen to there. Uh, you can, Culp, uh, sorry, Pugs. Yeah, this is, um, you can, Pugs, but um, this is the colour that I asked for. So. And this is the good thing about pipe. If you make a mistake, right, you just can just work with it, you know. The reason why I'm using a conventional saw is it's much easier to cut the PVC pipe um, straight with one of these than a hacksaw because hacksaws always seem to go off, you know. Puppy now, so I've got to make sure this doesn't go on the ground. Great. Awesome, that's good. Let's bring this into here now, like so. Hey, don't be doing that. Let's just get this sorted. That's that one done. Right. Okay, so, is that right? Let's have a look. Did I get it right or not? Probably not. What does that side look bigger? Let's have a look. <laughs> Way off. What am I doing?
That is 90. So what's the length of this one? Ah, okay. Right, get it now. That's because of the couplings here. So if that's the case, this is what we have to do. That's going to be the front, like so. Right, nice. That's going to be the other side. This is not the height of it. Oh, well, we got to do it, punks, because we want to go offshore with it, mate, you know. That's there. Right, so this is not the actual height of the bimini, right? This is just doing this to get the measurements. And then what we're going to do is flip it upside down, and then we're going to put the two-meter poles in here. I'm just getting this right for now. Hey, V Phoenix, how are you, bud? Now, because what it is, I'm going to get it to come out another side this way, and then a pole's going to come down to the back of the kayak to stabilise it. I mean, that's actually not too bad, which is a bit of a shock. But anyway, we'll sort this out in a second. Right. So, what's the distance between that and that? I mean, I'm obviously not going to plumb it together yet. Right, I'm going to do that later. Right, so that's good there. Is that in line? Good. That's good. Once I get that plumbed in, it'll stay up anyway. So let's just bring that down here for now. It'll be a lot easier to work with there than it will in the air. Right, that's all right. So what's the distance between there and then? Okay, so that's that's 63 to there, right, and that's another three, so I need 66 on a pipe. What's this one? That's another metre. Right, so that's 66 on the pipe. Did they forget to give me the metre length? You buggers. That's right, we'll sort that out and then. Right. <laughs> yeah, but no, this is the thing, mate. We want to sort of make it a little bit more, you know. Right, 66. I'm full of ideas. I'm full of ideas. None of them work, though. Wait, don't do that. Come on, calm down. Right, so... It's all right, lad. Right, 66, which is good. So that's our 66. It's slightly taking shape, fam. Work with me. Oh. <laughs> right. So. That are brilliant. So that's the front of our bimini. Right, that's covering to the foot pedals, which is what we want. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there like that. Right, now this is brilliant because what's going to happen now is, okay. Um, all right, people, so this is what we got to do now, yeah? 
This is what we got to do now. Okay. So that's good. We've got the right um, we've got the right um, width and everything. So now that we've got the right width, what we can do is this. I'm just going to chuck this down here for now. Right, just give me a second. Show you what we're going to do, fam. You've got to remember, this is a uh, idea that I spawned um, a little while ago. And, um, I mean, Kayaks to Fish, our sponsors, um, make these beautiful sun-like um, shades. And uh, basically what they're going to do... Oh, don't do that. Right, what that does is that provides cover, but you can't stand up with it, but they're still very good for what they do. Right, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put a T-piece in here. Right. So this is going to anchor off the back of the kayak. Right. Now let's just get this right. Maybe I should put... Yeah, that might be a good idea, I think. Maybe what I should do is put some of this on here as well so it's got a point to anchor off on. Hang on. And then that way when I grab it, I've got a bigger sort of purchase, if you know what I mean. Right. So. Oh, thanks, VE Phoenix. How are you today, bud? Yeah, mate. Um, Like I said, we want to build a really good... Um, no, it's not going to be that point. It's going to be that point. So that's 40 centimetres, right? So that's um, that's 40. That's 7 in there. So 33, 16 and a half. 16 and a half and 16 and a half. Okay, so if that's the case... Hello, mate. How are you? Hey, um, we're live streaming to YouTube at the moment, so no phone numbers or anything like that, okay? Just for your own reference. All right, mate. <laughs> right now. Right, okay, 16 and a half. Right, so 16 and a half. That's 165. Good. 165 in here. Good. Right. Nice. Let's get this done now. One sixty-five, and this is the good thing about um, the PVC pipe. With this, you can cut it as you go, and then what you do, you just plumb it all together at the end. See, so, and you got to remember, people with um, with Australia, we're one of the worst countries in the world for skin cancer. I mean, I've got Southern European blood in me, so I just my skin goes olive eventually, anyway. All right. And what I'm going to do, rather than um, I'm going to plumb the frame together with the um, the um, like plumbing cement, but when it comes to joining the back, I'm just going to use a stainless steel screw or like a nut and bolt. So let's get this going here now. No, it doesn't, Phoenix.
Oh, congratulations, V Phoenix. I hope she says yes, mate. Right, we'll get the swarf off there. Great. So, hopefully this works. I dropped two of them, I did. Okay. We might not need to worry about them in a minute. Hey, I don't believe it. I did something right. Look at that. Oh, I've exceeded all expectations, fam. So basically what's going to happen here is this T-piece is going to link to the back one of this. Then we've got one, two, three anchor points, which makes it a triangle rather than, um, oh dear, rather than just two pieces, which means it can flip over, right? And the other good thing about that is I'm going to put a um, shade sail of some sort that I'm going to make for it as well. I can, I, can, I can actually anchor that off here. So let's get this in here now. Come on, bud. Good. Right. And that's actually a lot easier to grab when you're doing the um, lifting on the kayak anyway. So now let's just have a look at this. Doesn't matter if I'm slightly out on here, I've just got to be consistent. So what have we got there? No, that's 90. That's 90, which is good. Right, so. Hang on a minute. I don't need to do that. What's that? That's 66, and three is 69, and three is 72. So to keep this consistent, what I've got to do, so with this 50-metre PVC fan, what you've got is you've got, uh, come on, you've got two different types of fittings. You've got the one where it's moulded into it here, and then you've got the other one that you sleeve over. So to do this, um, Sheik, how are you, bud? Three and three. All right, so it is the same. Great. So that's um, all right. So that's distance between the ears. All right. So that needs to be. Hang on. And as always, it's worn. So that's six hundred and five mil plus sixty. So that needs to be six hundred and sixty-five mil. They're the same length, so that's the same length out that way. So 665 mil, give or take. Six sixty five. Excuse me for a second. We just got to do a quick cut.
in a perfect world, this is all going to work. So that's the two inside ones. Hang on a second. Like that. Right, that's on the inside. That's on the inside. Right. So what I'm going to do now, people, is I'm going to um, just um, take that out of there like that. Take that out of there like that. Right, come on. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay that down there for a second. Bring that in here. Um, bring that in there. So that's where it's going to sit in the kayak like so. All right, bring that in there. Bring that in there. All right, that's going to go over that like that. So that's basically where it's going to sit in there. That's going to come in here. That's going to come in here. And that's going to come in here. We have liftoff. Okay. Right. So that's basically the shape of the bimini. Okay. That is basically it. So now what we do is, all right, so that's going to, now why is that doing that? Oh, that's right. If we're a bit out, if we're a bit out, we can always sort that out later. And there's a couple of mil out there, which we're going to sort out. Hang on. All right, we're nearly done. Oy, oh, great. There goes another bit of PVC. Okay. Oh, that's right, because it moved in a bit. Hang on. Might have to go back to get one more piece, I think, people. But that's right. No, that's all right. They can sort that. Sort that like that. Come on. All right. Yep, that's manageable. That's manageable. That's basically it in there. Come on. That's a bit better. Must have flared at the top, but that's all right. So let's just um, chuck that in there now and chuck. Let me just take these seats out, pedals out. All right, that's good. Quick fur baby check. Oh, look at you. <laughs> look at you, Phoebes. Hey? Radio. Good girl. That's all right. Lay down, lay down, lay down. Lay down. Good girl, good girl, Phoebe. Good girl. Uh, no, 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 lay down. Good girl. You're actually looking like a little dog today. Right. Okay, so that's good. That goes in here like so for the back of it. This goes in here for the back of it. That goes in there. 
Oh, that goes in there. And that's basically what our bimini looks like, people. All right, that's basically what our bimini looks like. So when it's on top of the two-metre bits, it's going to sit like that. Okay? Now, what we need to do is figure out where that's going to go there. And then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to readjust this in here, right? So we're going to need that to match to that virtually because that's where it's going to sit. Uh, that's going to have to match like that. Hang on a second. Right. Benton, how are you, bud? <laughs> I don't know, rugby bro. Sheik, your booty. How are you, mate? Yeah, we've got a new puppy, mate, that's a member of the family. I'll show you that later. Right. So. See, over two metres, you can have a bit of a bow. Now. Great. Oh, everyone's trying to bump the tripod today. Right, so let's just get this sorted now. Excuse me for a second, people. I just got to get this done. Right. Why? Is, oh, that's because of that. That's okay. That's okay. Now. Hey there, Huntress, how are you? Huntress, what's going on? <laughs> Can we have a shout out for Huntress NZ, please, people? Now, if you ever want to get your ass kicked in a truly humbling experience at PUBG, go and give Huntress a go and she'll sort you out. Right, da da. So, what we have now is this is our bimini. Okay, so what I can do now is um, when I finally get everything right, I'm going to plumb everything in. So, let me just show you what I'm going to be doing here. Okay, so the best way to um, sort this out is this. So, this um, bimini is now going to be... Right like that. Okay. And then... What we're going to do is... 
So this is going to sit like this, right? So on the kayak, what's going to happen is, oh, I'll try not to kill the laptop, Jim. Actually, no, what we'll do is we're better off like this. If it holds together. So on the kayak, this is going to be like this. Whoops. Obviously, I'm going to glue it all together. All right. So this is going to be on the kayak like this. Okay? Like that. So what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to stand under it. Oops. Don't go near the laptop. Calm down. It's all right. So I want to be able to stand underneath it like this. Whoops. Fail. <laughs> right. At least you know it's tough, eh? So hang on a second. Let me just get this sorted now. It's not glued in, so it was bound to fall apart. Try that. <sighs> like that. Don't. What can I rest that on? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. Is though, right? The thing is though, I've got to get this right before I glue it up. The only way I'm going to do that, just try and hang up there for a second, will Right. Okay. So that is going to be how it's going to be on the kayak. Right. Like that. Okay, so what's going to happen is on the kayak, basically, right, so that pipe there is going to go down to the back of the kayak and hold this in place. This is going to be directly behind us, and what we may well do is I'm going to put a little O-ring in there, and I'm going to tie that off to the front. It's actually quite light for what it is, but correspondingly, I don't want it to turn into a sail, you know. So before we do that, and then what I can do is, um, because of the overhang at the back and the overhang at the front, during the middle of the day, that's when we're going to get most of our heat. So allowing for the anchor and that sort of stuff, at least one half of it should be covered and I'll be able to position the kayak so that in the middle of the day when the sun's beating directly down, right, we're in shade. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to get um, a little cover for it here, right? And the other good thing about this is, too, this gives us access points where we can start putting cameras and that sort of stuff. So that way we have a totally different viewpoint um, with what we're doing. So basically, I can also stand underneath this, right? I can stand underneath this and, um, uh, like, fly fish. I'll have the stand-up bar here. Right, and all in all, I mean, 
it just makes it for a much um yeah this is going to work out well and then that way when we go offshore we do a four and five k paddles and we've got the outriggers at the back um this will be a little bit more stable you know and um yeah this is going to work out well so that's basically it so all that happens is when we go out in the um uh field and we're streaming this pipe here is going to join that one at the back and it's going to join that little t that little t piece on the back of the kayak there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a stainless steel screw that'll slot in that i'll screw in with a nylock nut i'll have the same thing up the top with that but all of this on the top this top part's going to be plumbed in with plumbing cement and this one will be screwed in because to be able to store this is going to be a bit difficult, if you know what I mean. So let's get that there. Let's get that there. Bring that back here. And that's basically the bimini. Uh, hey, Jack, good, mate. We just built a bimini, even though it fell apart halfway through it. So can we have a shout-out for... Um, that jack jack and also benton fishing as well as huntress so robbie aussie how are you bud good mate so game and gate soldier how are you bud oh <laughs> you can either say bimini or or t i think they call them t mounts in america so What's going to happen is, people, we've got this, um, and as you can see with the logic behind it, I mean, that's where my seat's going, right, on the kayak here, okay? That's where my seat's going, right, there, right? So pedals here, at least the legs are going to be covered from the sun during the day. You've got to remember in Australia, um, during the summer months when, or Western Australia, it's daylight at 4.30 to 5 in the morning, by 7 o'clock in the morning, the sun's virtually overhead. So for the 12-hour window during the day where the sun's overhead, right, what'll happen is it'll be beaming down on this instead of us. Now, the good thing about that is, right, your biggest enemy when you're um, live streaming is, welcome. Toby, how are you, bud? Oh, what happened there? Come on. All right. Toby, how are you, mate? Okay. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, obviously, I can't do it here because, um, you know, we've got the um, roof and that. But when we take the kayak out to film the YouTube bot on the weekend because it was meant to be done today, but the um, like weather come up. What I'll do is I'm going to take the plumbing cement out with me, right? And then we'll, um, yeah, I'll take the plumbing cement out with me and um, we'll, um, yeah, we'll glue it all up outdoors, eh? So, Aussie Man 2020, how are you, bud? So there you go. But, um, yeah, I think we've sort of got a – we've got the gist of it, famo. And like I said, if I had this made out of aluminium, it would be too heavy for the kayak, right? So, yeah, this is good. Um, and we've got enough of a purchase on here with this. So, I mean, I could probably go – 1.8 meters but then i'd be bumping my head you know i could probably go 2.2 meters and be bumping my head you know so there we go people so what we've done is um we've actually made a functional um offshore um kayak now and i'll tell you what in australia when the sun's beating down right 
I've just got to make sure that it doesn't sink now. That's all. That's all we got to do. Just got to make sure it doesn't sink. Okay. But it shouldn't do. I mean, once we get a bit of the old weight loss happening. All right, there we go. Bri, how are you, mate? Has it really, Rob? You're here, um, Sydney's absolutely um, like uh, belting down as well, but that means we'll probably get it next year. Hang on. I'm just going to sand down the outside of here, right, and then that way that will slide into here easier. But these next gen 11.5 kayaks people are absolutely ready for streaming. Just these little things that I didn't even know it that it had, you know, because when you're live streaming out in the field, your biggest enemy is heat, right? And, um, you know, if you can't keep stuff in the shade, I mean, it's still going to be hot in the shade, isn't it, you know? But it's going to be not as hot as in the open. And the good thing about that is... Um, with my stand-up bar, right, I'm hoping the stand-up bar is going to come back to about here. But what I can do then is I can keep my phone um, – I can keep my phone out of the sun because, I mean, phones cook as well, you know, unless you get a little shield or something like that for it. But this just makes life so much easier. There we go. All right. So, all good. We've got our, um, you know what? I could even put this down a little bit more to 1.9 metres because 1.9, hang on, that came back down to here. <laughs> Daz the cellar dweller, how are you, bud? Oh, that's what insurance is for, Rob Aussie. You know, I'm not bonk, I'm um, I'm not banking on um, sinking. You know, but um, hang on, that's not really going all the way down, is it? That's sort of going down about eighty. So that means if I go eighty, actually, I'm 180 centimeters tall with shoes 182. So if I go down to 192, which just saves a little bit of height on this. It'll make it more manageable. Um, yeah, I should be able to. Um, yeah, I should be able to. Uh, yeah, I should be able to still stand under it because the thing is, with most of your sunshades and that sort of stuff, they're great because you're sitting down. But this is a stable kayak. We've got the outriggers coming. I want to be able to stand in it, right, and just pump like casts at Australian Salmon out here and also down at Dunsborough, Bustleton, all parts of the Western Australia, right? And also when we go up north. And then the good thing about that is um, if I've got it anchored in, right, um, yeah, if I've got it anchored in like that here, now this is an interesting thought, isn't it? I can't really have an eyelet here going down to the front because if a fish takes off across the kayak like that, I'm going to have to swap hands, and I won't be able to, especially if I've got the big game fishing reel. So what we might have to do is I might have to just um, drill across here 
no, I can't do that because I'm going to have to drill through here and then put in... Yeah, I'll figure it out. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hey, Frogsy. Oh, Frogsy, this is beautiful, mate. While you're here, I'll show you, mate. Um, yeah, this is a great fishing kayak, bud. It's just off the charts. Seriously, the last time I bought a kayak was 10 years ago, 12 years ago, and the advancement on them in the... Um, the advancement on them in, you know, 12 years is just off the charts, mate. And, Frogsy, if you're after one, right, let me know. And what I can do is I can give you the direct number of the gentleman that runs the company, right, and you can deal with him. Okay, we've already had a couple of uh, – we've already had, sorry, we've had someone from the community place an order with um, kayaks to fish, right? So, you know, and it just – it just shows a little bit of um, just shows a little bit of um, you know, support for the product as well. So, right there we go. So, Daz, I probably could, but I'm not going to because that's too much weight, bud. Right. Hey there, old mate chicken. So, culpable. Mate, if you drill a hole here, the kayak's not going to sink, bud. You've got a hole in the floor here. You know what I mean? So, so people, I'm going to throw this out to everyone. Right? On a scale of, um, on a scale of, um, like uh, one to ten, right? What do you think the um, the uh, thought was behind doing this little bimini for the kayak? What do you reckon? A three out of ten, a four out of ten? Because to get one made out of aluminium is going to cost. Um... <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks, Culp. <laughs> Culp, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, bud. You know what I mean? So, thanks, mud man. Right. Now we just got to see whether it works, people. I mean, ideas are good. Thanks, Aussie man. I mean, ideas are good, aren't they? Hey, Danny DeVito, how are you, bud? Welcome, mate. Oh. <laughs> All right. And that's good because when we put this under here, right, when we put this under here, that's going to allow us to um, – yep, great – I mean, the other thing I could do too is I could make the bimini narrower, but we wouldn't get as much sun protection. Oh, do you, Daz? Yeah, see, that's the thing, mate. Thanks, Rob Ozzy. But that's the thing, Daz. You can buy the sun shields, right, that they do um, direct from kayaks to fish, but they're good if you're sitting down. You know, we want to fish in it and go offshore, so we need to be able to stand. So this is where the outriggers are going to go, right, here, two little 60 centimetre or 50 centimetre outriggers, right, for the side stability. And I might even put one out the front. But in saying that, I think what might happen with that is um, that might present another issue when you're trying to land fish. I mean, obviously hoping we catch fish. You know what I mean? That's not quite the way down Right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Beauty. Absolute beauty. Good work. There we go. Nice. So there we are. Um, Mudman, this kayak at the moment, I, I, you'd have to go to the kayaks to fish um, website, right? Um, I think they were on special for two thousand one hundred and ninety nine dollars Australian, obviously. Um, but uh, I don't know how many are left, and I don't know how many are in the country because um, our community are one of two people in Australia that have been the eleven point five. 
to fish with and just see how it works. So basically what we're doing every single time we go out in the kayak, we're going to be providing feedback. Now, this wasn't part of the initial <laughs> agreement, but, you know, um, hard. how are you, mate? Welcome to the stream. Um, you're welcome. Thanks. Oh, it is, mate. They got a rec retail of two thousand nine hundred and ninety nine, and just um, do us a favour if you are going to sort of um, inquire about them. Just mention that you saw them on the stream, okay? Um, so with the kayak, it comes with a seat, comes with the pedals, it also comes with the rudder system that's under here, right? And you also get the the two part paddle. And you get the non-slip pads in here, right, which are really good. So, um, yeah, I'm so keen to take this out. I can tell you right now that there are some brim in the southwest of the state that are getting rather nervous watching this stream because we're going to be going out for them with this. Now, the other thing is to remember with fish catch and release, right? So you got to remember every time I see this kayak, I just have a bit of a – epiphany as to what we can achieve with it you know i'm just hoping that i can get this right yeah i think i'm going to drop down another 10 centimeters on the kayak that's going to make a bit of difference um that's going to make a lot of difference and then the good thing about that is um yeah we we can't go out in this kayak unless we've got the outriggers, especially with this um, Bimini or T section in here, because we need the stability, you know, the extra stability. Yes, brass wind chimes. I've got a spot down south that the last time I went, um, this is off stream because we couldn't get reception. Uh, we caught and released, I think, about 60 brim in about three and a half hours, mate. Now, with this... There's a spot down south that nobody fishes, right? I think the other thing is two people. The reason why I want the height with the bimini is because on top of the bimini is where our antenna is going to go to lock into that modem, the same one that we've got here, right? The higher the antenna, the more mobile signal you'll receive, okay? And the more stable it will be, okay? So, um, you know, we'll be putting the um, lithium battery there. I've got something else that I need to be able to run. But with the Bimini, I can run that here off the lithium battery. Also use the lithium battery with a side um, motor mount. And then that way... Oh, <sighs> you know what? I could probably even run a Starlink off the top of this, people. Now, that would be next level, right? Actually, if I had an inducer, inducer, not transducer, not inducer, what is it? Inverter. I've got transducer and inverter mixed up. <laughs> I'm not giving birth to the kayak. Sorry. Oh, you idiot. Right? <laughs> So if I had the inverter next to the lithium battery running the Starlink and I could mount the Starlink into that because it's not overly heavy, I could run Starlink on this, people. Mm, now we're talking. Oh, now we are talking. I wouldn't be able to bring the dog because, you know, you don't want to take the dog to remote spots, right? Yeah, we could, because I'd have the stability there at the back. I could hinge it either side of the T-piece, and as long as I've got a hole in the sky, I'll get reception. <laughs> That's right, Ozzy. All right. Well, people, excuse me for a second.
but if we had if we had Starlink on the top, then we could tip the kayak. That's my only concern. I think, look, once we start getting our fitness up and I drop down in the weight again, because we are on the way down, another 15 or 20 kilos, that'll remove the issue of the kayak tipping over, right? And um, we could run Starlink on this. That's a great idea. Seven point five kilo battery, right? Seven point five kilo battery, three kilo. Um, I think it's inverter, whatever it's called, linked to the Starlink, and then we've got signal anywhere. Now, there's something that I didn't even think of that sort of spawned out of nothing, especially after the inducer comment. We're onto something here, people. We're really onto something here. All right, leave it with me. Okay, we're gonna have to run a few tests. Yeah, that's right, Colt, we do. Uh, look, mate, um, when you go on a kayak, you've got to wear a life jacket. And when you go offshore, the kayak's going to get registered. So we're going to get a boat registration with numbers. Then what we'll do is we'll keep our EPIRB and we'll also keep our flares at the front of the kayak, right? And um, fantastic. Cannot wait. I've got a couple of spots down south that I know of people where I can get to with the kayak and I can drop soft plastics and baits down in front of 50, 60-pound Samson fish, West Australian Jewfish, you know, 40 to 50, uh, 40 pound snapper, all sorts of stuff, people. So that's going to be absolutely fantastic. Just got to wait for the stand up bar to turn up. And then I've just got to wait for the rod holders to turn up for here. Um, yeah, I'll work on this, right? And um, we'll take it out in the field and measure it all up and that sort of stuff. Once you use the um, PVC cement on here, these go absolutely rock solid. All right, people. All right, I'll be. I'll. I'll leave you with it. We're just going to throw out a quick raid, right? Who are we going to raid? And I will see you, if not tonight, tomorrow. What we're going to do is, no worries, chicken. I'll give you a hoy after, mate. What we're going to do, people, we're going to go and raid Ron Cleveland Outdoors on the Twitch channel. Everyone on YouTube, stick around. Thank you very, very much for your support. Ron's doing a subathon, and he's also doing a charity drive for a member of his community that's been affected by cancer. So please go across and show him some support. Hey, Lowie, how are you, bud? Good to see you, mate. And um, spread the word about Australis TV. See you soon. Thanks for your support. And to everyone on YouTube, thank you very much for tuning in. Really look forward to continuing our live streaming on YouTube, and I'll see you next time.